Hi, it's Darnell with Wave Over Recipes, and this is part three, the final chapter, the final saga in the frozen chicken pot pie saga on uh, this Wave Over Recipes channel. Basically, on this one, I'm going to be trying 40 minutes on the low rack at high power and seeing how that turns out. In part one, try the method on the high rack and had to cover it full and do some flipping. In part two, did 50 minutes and uh, on the low rack, saw how that turned out. So if you haven't seen those, be sure to check out those videos. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. But here in part three, we're going to see if we can get the time well under the time for a conventional oven cooking a frozen chicken pot pie in the new wave oven. So let's get started with that now. All right. So... For our third and last run here, we got our frozen chicken pot pie. Gonna get it open. All right. Well, actually, I got to flip the rack. There we go with our uh, one-inch rack. <clears throat> no foil needed around the edges. It doesn't overbrown the edges very much as you saw in part two. Um, so we're going to do cook time this time, 40 minutes. That's 10 minutes less than is recommended for a conventional oven. And start. And I'll bring you back and we'll see what we have here. Okay, so 40 minutes have passed. So let's see if this is all good and done. The top of it looks good. Starting my... Uh, temperature thing here temperature probe look at that it's at 188 man this thing it's like one it's in the 190s that's 40 minutes all right I'm not gonna do it again but I think you get the picture you know you probably do this thing 35 minutes and be okay you know 40 minutes you got it made you know no need to go 50 minutes that's just overkill um, you're definitely saving money here you're definitely saving some bucks um, cooking your chicken pot pies here instead of conventional oven. So, um, basically, you know, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to keep going with this. Um, you know, we're already at part three. But as you can see, the new wave oven saves you time. It saves you money. Even at 50 minutes, it was using less energy than a conventional oven. But here we are now, 40 minutes. I probably could go 35 minutes. And... You know, it's way over 165 degrees. I mean, it's at 198 now, which is uh, like, wow. I never, ever, ever thought it cooked a chicken pot pie this good. Never. I mean, I've cooked a lot of things, but I guess I just never did a whole lot of chicken pot pies on it. I guess I don't eat a whole lot of chicken pot pies from Frozen. I do make my own, and you've probably seen my video on how I make my own uh, homemade chicken pot pies. So, basically, good deal, and of course you can support this channel on Patreon. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can share the video with a friend. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can subscribe to the channel. Also, check out wave, superwaveovenrecipes.com. That's superwaveovenrecipes.com, and good eating.